Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic model of conveyor, a roller conveyor in Autodesk Inventor. For this, we will first construct the C channels, the C channels, then the roller and then this belt. We will make the child parts first and then assemble it. So this will be the C channel, the roller and this will be the belt. So let's get started with today's tutorial. First, we will turn. Uh, we will make the C channels. For that, go to File. Go to Standard Part in Millimeter. Okay. This is a new part. Now go to 2D Sketch. Select the XY plane. Now go to Line Command and take the simple line make a line passing from center point vertical line make a C channel profile rough profile <coughs> and join here ok now with the help of vertical constraint constrain this make it vertically parallel to axis now go to dimensions and give the dimensions this will be a dimension of 50 and this also 50 and this will be a dimension of 75 this of 5m and this also 5m and this thickness will be of 7.5m ok now this is a fully constrained sketch now finish sketch and go to extrude command and here give the distance as 1000 as you can see it's getting extruded in a front direction <coughs> but we want it from mid plane so click here on symmetric now it will be 500 this side and 500 this side and ok <coughs> now we want to make slots for the roller here you can see the roller is assembled so it is the slots are given for that go to this face go to 2d sketch now here select the circle command and go to center point circle make a circle of dia 21.5 and give the dimensions from this side this will be at a distance of 25 m and now give the horizontal constraint the center point and the circle center point now this is fully defined <coughs> now we want to make pattern of this circle for pattern go to rectangular pattern select this circle now for direction click on this direction one and select here ok to make a, a direction we want to active this for that select this line and click on project geometry ok project geometry project geometry and click on here In this view, you will be able to see the profile. <coughs> now, go to rectangular pattern, select this circle, and here go to direction 1 and select this line now. As you can see, it's moving this side. So, from here, flip the direction and the count of 20. 
and the distance between center to center will be 50 mm this will cover the whole C channel and ok ok now finish sketch and go to extrude command click on right and select this prof whole profiles ok and change the way as you can see they are coming outward and getting extrude but we want extrude cut so from here change it to cut and ok so these are the cut profiles made in this ok now we want to give a radius for that go to fillet select this outer edge ok first give the radius of 5 mm and select select this outer edge and select the bottom side edge ok similarly select the inner edge and top inner edge ok and apply make it a home view ok now from here you can change the color you can give the color as blue I have taken wall paint glossy blue and save it make a new folder and give a assembly ok here save it as C channel save now we will going uh, we are going to make the roller for roller from here go to new take the standard part in millimeter now here go to 2d sketch select the 2d sketch here select the xy plane go to line command now make a profile over here for roller make a random profile ok now go to dimensions this will be a height of 15 mm and this height will be of 10 mm the distance here will be 30 mm ok the profile has moved so drag it over here and give, go to dimensions once again and give this a dimension of 150 mm ok now go to circle command and make two circles over here one for 2.5 mm and other also 2.5 mm <coughs> now <coughs> go to dimensions from this side this will be at a distance ok exit go to dimensions again select the circle and this edge this will be a distance of 5 mm similarly this circle and this circle the center to center will be at 5 mm ok <clears throat> now we only want this inner profile below this line so go to trim trim the upper and this similarly the inner profile the cutting edge ok now this whole portion has become unconstrained to constrain this go to horizontal constraint select this and select this this is constrained now select this and this and this point and this point this is also constrained 
point and this point now this is completely constrained here you can see the fully constrained <coughs> okay now go to mirror we want to mirror this whole profile so make a window over here the whole profile is selected and go to mirror line this will be the mirror line and apply done this will be the roller profile now go to finish and go to revolve this profile will be selected and for axis this will be rotation axis and ok <clears throat> now we want to give thread profile here for that go to thread it and select this face it will by default provide you the thread length and the thread according to diameter apply similarly select this face and apply ok go to home so this is the roller profile you can change the color from here you can give it as given it as yellow so give it as yellow and save save in the same folder the assembly folder which we have made the roller ok and save now we are going to make the belt profile for that go to new go to standard part in millimeter ok now go to 2d sketch and go to xy plane select the circle profile take the midpoint and make a circle of diet 30 similarly here also make a circle of diet 30 ok now with the help of line command join both the circles and this circle give the dimension this circle and this circle center to center will be at 50 m as you can see this circle is moving upwards to make it horizontal constraint go to horizontal constraint select the center point and select the center point and this is fully defined and go to tangent constraint select this circle and select this line it is already there similar select this and select this this was not tangent to this line <coughs> now we don't want this inner profiles for that go to trim trim these inner profiles ok and go to finish sketch now we want to make a belt of uh, belt thickness of dia 2m for that we will construct a plane over here go to plane select this point the joining point and select this line it will construct a new plane over here now select this plane and go to 2d sketch here we will make a circle so here we will make a circle of dia 2m ok exit this <coughs> now drag this circle as you can see this is not constrained it can move anywhere so go to coincident select this point and select this ok or you can ok first project geometry and select this point 
now go to co coincident constraint select the center point of the circle in this point now this is fully constrained now finish sketch and go to sweep and select this profile which we want to sweep for path select this path and make this line as a path of the sweep and ok this will make a belt profile you can hide this right click and switch off the visibility to change the color of the belt select this part go to defaults and we will make it as black ok this will be the color of the belt and save save it as belt ok save here now we will construct the assembly of this whole conveyor for that go to new go to standard assembly in millimeter and go to create ok now from here we will call the parts go to place go to this assembly folder you can select all the parts at once and open just place them here and exit now we want to make this as the primary part for the conveyor so open this C channel folders this are the C channel planes and open the planes of the assembly these are the assembly planes to make the whole assembly constrained or to make the whole assembly don't move here and there we uh, have to constrain the assembly origins with the ch uh, child part origins only a single part will be uh, the origins of a single part will be matched ok now go to constrain select the yz plane and this yz plane flip the direction ok you can keep it as here and apply now exit plane and exit plane apply now xy plane and xy plane apply ok add this relation and apply ok now this is fully constrained now move it as here and this will be the position in which we will work <clears throat> now assemble the roller go to constraint select here the center line of the roller and here center line of the slot and apply now revolve this select this face of the roller and this face of the C channel ok and apply now roller can't move anywhere and C channel is also not able to move now we want to construct this C channel this side also of the roller also for that go to roller once again we will active planes here we will active the yz plane right click on yz plane and switch on the visibility ok go to assembly once again here the plane is active now now go to constraint ok now go to mirror select the C channel and 
it will ask you the mirror plane the mirror plane will be this roller visor plane it will ask you the mirror relationship you have to check okay and we have to ground the new component so that it will not move Hit next and okay now this is the mirror profile okay <clears throat> now we want to pattern this first remove this belt from inside similarly first we will assemble one more roller so click on the roller ctrl c for copy and ctrl v for paste a new roller you don't want to call again and again go to constraint select this slot and select the center line of the roller and apply now to make it constrain up to this select this face and this face flip the joining solution and apply okay now these two rollers are here now we want to make a belt connection with of these two rollers for that first we have to active the slots between uh, the plane between these slots so go to roller once again now we want to make slot uh, a plane between these slots for that go to plane and go to offset plane here select this face and give the distance minus 5 mm okay this will be the plane between the center of this whole slot okay similarly select this plane and go to planes once again and go to offset from plane now as it's going outwards we'll give the uh, distance of minus 5 mm and okay now this will be the second plane between this slot okay <clears throat> now we want to mirror these planes so from here go to mirror feature select this plane and select this plane and the plane about which we want to mirror this will be the plane okay save and go back to assembly okay now we want to join the belt so go to constraint select this of the belt you can see here the center line this is selected and select this circle the center line is selected apply similarly this edge of the belt and this roller they are concentric now now to check you have to move it like this uh, these are concentric the belt will be remain straight now i will show you why we have made the uh, these planes now go to belt open the origin go to xy plane of the belt this will be the mid plane of the belt and go to constraint select this plane and apply okay edit relation and flip it and apply so the belt is at between this slot assembled okay now we'll go to going to pattern these rollers so go to pattern fe feature or component select this component and go to rectangular pattern 
go to first direction and select this edge flip the direction give a count of 9 and the distance between will be 50 ok flip count of 19 ok and ok ok as we have patterned the rollers now we will pattern the belt so go to pattern select this belt and go to rectangular pattern select the direction one and select this edge and here give the distance as 100 and a count of 10 okay now you can see the pattern here till here okay now we want to make a connection between this roller and this roller for that we will simply go to this pattern connection select this belt copy here and CTRL way paste now go to constraints and select this edge of the belt this uh, axis will be selected and this roller apply similarly this edge and this roller axis and apply now this is the belt which we have called open its origin select the xy plane and go to constraint and select the second plane this plane flip the direction and apply ok this is the connection between this roller these two connection is this and these two is this ok now ok as you can see this is moving but when we move the roller or with through the belt all are moving to constrain this go to constrain select the third roller axis and the slot axis and apply ok now if you move the belt the roller will not move or uh, dislocate now this is the third belt which we have made the new belt connection go to pattern select this component go to rectangular pattern select the edge along which we have to pattern from here take a distance of 100 and the count of 9 so these are the pattern belt and ok so this is the connection which is made now we have to mirror all the components so select this pattern select this pattern one by one select both the patterns and go to mirror and go to mirror plane with the direction and this will be the mirror plane now you can see the belt profiles are generating here all over and go to next and ok so belt profiles are here to make it more clear we will hide the planes now go to roller we will hide these planes work plane both the work planes select and right click and switch off the visibility similarly these two this and this 
right click and switch off the visibility and this plane right click and switch off the visibility now go back to assembly now you can see the belt connections over here and all over the conveyor and this side the same connections okay this was a simple model of conveyor roller conveyor in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.